All right, so I've got um, the E85 Z4 2004 seats, uh, and I'm replacing them with uh, E46 BMW M Sport seats. Um, same bolt pattern, plug and play. The only thing is the seats that they've got are manual, uh, not heated. These are electric uh, and and heated, so um, I need to know that I can. I have a plug under the E46 seat. Don't know if it does have one. If it doesn't, then my airbag light will stay on. That's for the side door. And that's pretty important. If that stays on, then it's obviously not going to activate in, a, in an accident. So yeah, pretty much just waiting for the seats to uh, turn up, and then I'm going to do the passenger side first, and then I'll um, move on to. Um, the driver's side. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a plug. I think it's just going to be bolts and that'll be it. Um, so that's a concern. That's why I've done it this way. That's why I've removed all of these. So then what I'm going to do is take the cushions off the E46, put them on here, and then at least I've got um, all the workings, all the plugs, everything that the Z4 knows. So all I'm doing is really just replacing the cushions. So I'm just going to jump in here because I didn't actually film the process of me removing the electrical um, function element. That can be found on the Pelican website and I will leave a link in the description on how to do that. So once you've done that, the next thing to do is to remove the back and then to remove the cushion uh, bracket and then you'll have uh, a pretty much a, a raw skeleton to then attach the E46 cushion and back to, and then that enables you to still have all the functionality and also the safety stuff that, um, that the Z4 needs in order to operate correctly. Hope that all helps because I didn't film it um, so it all kind of jumps straight into this is how you do kind of stuff. So sorry about that. This little bit here, so this is, so it's just um, a little tab in there. It just holds the, holds the um, upholstery. Pull that back and it will reveal a Torx. So the Torx is a 40. So it's a Torx 40, pop it in there. I've already done the other side, so I'm just gonna do this one. And then that should just fall off. Now I've just got a cable here. So I've just gotta figure out where that's going. Heated cable, that's the heated cable here. Comes through here down into and it's connected in there there's a the plug unplug that then i can remove this whole back part it's just a bit of a pain so it's trying to go i have to get it to go it's in there and it has to come out here but it's just a bit tight so i'm just going to have a bit of a faff around Hey, <laughs> that's awesome. So what I did was pretty much just peeled this back from here. Just peels it all the way back. So it'll peel all the way back. Now, one thing I have found is that here's the heater. Well, there's, there's a heater cable. Oh no, that's the occupancy. So that's the occupancy cable. So that goes into there. Um, and then this is the heater control. Now I've got the uh, heated seat part. So this goes up into here. And so I'll just remove this from its cradle. And it's pretty simple. Well, it's got a little um, set of levers there that just hold it into place. Um, and then this one here, uh, so you got to remove this box here uh, and you just pull up on, on this one and on the other side as well uh, and you just pull it out and it pulls off. 
There we go. It's a little shield, and it exposes all your uh, connections for the um, for all the motor um, adjustments and everything, and also the heating. So I'm just going to pull out this. You don't need that anymore. It goes through there. Um, put the sheath back on, and put this back into place. Like so, there we go, that's ready to go. So in order to get the seat out, or to get this little hardware piece out, because this is not going to be um, the same profile as an E46M Sport seat, because the M Sport seat will have way bigger bolsters. Um, so we need to get this out. So the way to get that out is, so you can see here, it's a little system here, it's a little hook system. So it just hooks in, and then it comes, when it comes down, it comes down onto here. And that's your screw, you, you um, use your bolt. A couple of these, a couple of these little guys, go in there. It's fine, so we take that out, and then what we do is you pry it out. So I'm going to see if I can do it here. There we go. So they pry, pry that out of there. On the other side, do exactly the same thing. So you've got that out of there. So that's pried out of there, and that's pried out of that side. And then what happens is you pretty much just lift this away and it comes out. Voila. So there you have it. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the E46 and then that'll pop straight in there. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. That's how you do it on the Z4, uh, changing the um, taking the cushion off and getting it ready for the E46 M Sport cushions to go on uh, and still retaining the use of the airbags um, and occupancy sensors, electric, um, uh, you know, mechanism and all that kind of stuff. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Comments, all that kind of stuff. That'd be good to hear from uh, anyone who's having trouble and if they've got any questions, I'll quickly answer. Yeah.